Hello everyone, I'm Mudurole Mojibola and you're welcome to GBFM for today tutorial. Today we are going to, I'm going to be teaching us how I made this back pattern using my basket weave. You can see how simple and beautiful it looks. I'm sure you will enjoy this. Sit back and I'll be right back. For this basket weave back pattern, I'm going to make use of seven straps four on this side and three on the other side so i'm going to weave them differently i've taught us how to make our basket weave so i'm just going to quickly run that same procedure here so all i need is just my basket weave on this side now i i'm going to stop now I just made like one, two, three. I went that three rounds and I'm going to stop here. Then weave this other four strap to get to this side as well. Now, as you can see, I've weaved this as well. Now, the length of your first weave will determine on the length of what you want to go under your back pattern. So you don't need it to actually be too long for it to go under the back pattern for this i have about four inches so i think with four or three and a half inch it that will be enough for you to go under now i'm going to bring them together now this is the three back basket with back pattern now these are the three straps for the three pattern so what i'm going to do if you put it under it as you can see they are on the same side so i'm going to put it on it it will now go then under this particular one can you see that i'm already merging them together so this is what i have so after that i'm going to pick up this one this last one pass it under this then flip it through like that and it goes this way can you see what i have now so passing it through it this is what i have so we have four strap on this side and we have three straps on this side so i'm just going to now run this over then it comes this way so you know i'm already running it so this first one climbs under up and under and this is what we have as you can see we are forming the smooth running back already so this one goes this way goes this way and enters into it so we are smoothly running that you just run it over like you are running a bus seven strap basket weave. You can see what I'm having. I'm going to run this just all around it this way. And I'm just going to continue like that until I have like five to four and a half inch around A. It depends on how wide you want it to be. So to run the four parts over it this way I'm going to just continue like that now we can check this particular length using our meter rule I think we have about three and a half inch as this width I can decide to increase it or stop it that way it depends on the size of the back pattern you are working with. Now see what I have. This is just to show us how we can make use of our basket weave to make different kind of pattern. It's not just for a straight strap. So now, if I want to, I'm just going to make sure that I have because if you look at this side, it's having four strap. So when I want to end it on this side, by the time I have the the appropriate number of widths I have for this back, I'm just going to make sure that the number of straps that is here 
ends on this side and the number of strap that is on this other side is what end this other end so let's quickly glue to dress i'm just going to stop this here then continue like this i mean i'm going to leave the four i'll go back to i'm going to leave the three now then go back to the four so my four you can see the way it is i'm going to cross it over at the center that is for my four cross it at the center and just go ahead the same way you started the initial one so i'm just going to have this on top of it then all around it this way just for me to get what i want don't forget our three is t line here so i'm just going to ensure that you work with it don't forget there's a climbing here this goes under and this climbs on top of it and here we are moving away from that particular one so now i've tried to close up the four strap i'm going now to the three strap so i'm just going to weave my three strap as usual and i'm going to have that side intact as well then i'll now show to us how our basket with back pattern looks like on the last see what we have you can see this goes this way i'm just going to open this side up now and place it for us to see what i mean now look at it this is what we're going to have the first strap is going to be is going to be under that's what's going to happen the first strap is going to be this way under it that's what we're going to have so this particular one is coming up why these ones are going to come down this way that's what it means so i'm going to adjust that to perfectly fit into what i want so i have this going this way i have this going this way as you can see this strap is the one that will be coming up so you're going to attach your buckle to this particular one attach your strap to this particular one you can decide to extend your strap all the way here or make the basket with on this other side to be long so that it just enters into the buckle this is what we have from this and see how it looks like so if you want to make a back pattern on them you don't want to go through the process of cutting and sewing all you need to do is just to weave it that particular way and you will find it so lovely see the other one that i made this is like this is also going that way this is quite wide the back is wide so it's just going to go this way this is going to go this way and there you go your back pattern is ready i'm sure you can see what we have you may not you may decide to use 3 3 if you prefer it to be 3 3 but if you see this i'm sure you will really like to do this so this is what i'm going to have at the back and this is going this one is coming this way so i'm still going to reduce this one so that i'll be able to put a strap to suspend my buckle now you can imagine having this having something like this at the back you can imagine having this in front and having this at the back as our back pattern. This is looking so beautiful and lovely. And for and another thing we can decide to use at the front, I use our mystery braid. You can see it. I'm just going to put it. This is what I'm going to use for the silver. I'm just going to place it this way. And then I have my back silver pattern right there to complete it you can see how lovely this look like i'm sure you have enjoyed today's tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and thank you so much for watching you are free let me hear your questions and your comments as regards this particular tutorial thank you so much for watching see you next time bye